Welcome back to Wizarding Alice. My name is Alice. On this channel, we cover all things Harry Potter, Wizarding World, and a bit of Scotland travel and lifestyle thrown in there as well. I am so sorry for this truly awful angle. All of my chins are well on display today, but I wanted to um, film this just now while I'm driving to my destination um, for today. It's very exciting. I feel like I haven't gone to a Harry Potter filming location in a really long time, so I'm really excited to do this today. So as you've probably seen from the title of the video, I am going to Annick Castle, which is amazing. It's one of the few filming locations I have been to quite a few times, so it's just me today. It's not that far. It's quite close to the border of Scotland, so it's going to take me about an hour and a half to drive down there, which isn't too bad. Just me, and I'm going to do the castle, which is where some of the filming locations are, and I'm going to visit the gardens as well. They're two different um, companies. I think sometimes people get confused. If you want to go into the castle gardens, you need a separate ticket. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited, so I'm going to take you guys around with me. We'll just have a little vlog um, while I'm also showing you filming locations. So yeah, can't wait. I'm going to turn this off now since I am driving and I'll see you when we get there. Okay, I have officially made it to Annick. It's such a lovely town. Um, I've just parked in the official car park. It's three pounds for the whole day for parking if you're interested and it's right opposite both the castle and the gardens. They've just got a joint car park despite being two different companies. I know it's really confusing, but it was a really frustrating drive. Everyone was driving like an absolute madman today. Maybe the problem was me. I am the common denominator and all that, but Anyway, I thought everyone else was driving crazy and it was so foggy. It's okay here, I was a bit worried. I was like, oh my God, they're not gonna be able to see anything in the video, <laughs> um, but it's okay here. It's getting warmer, I'm a bit cold. I'm kind of regretting my t-shirt choice. Um, but yeah, so let's go, let's go explore the castle. How cool does this adventure golf look? Like, look at the giant worm and the huge trees. It's like a secret gate over there. If I wasn't on my own, I would definitely want to do this. I was going to take a look in this garden on my way to the gardens, um, but I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> Never mind. So before I go in, I wanted to show you the tree house, which is just on the edge of the gardens. How cool is that? It's like a proper, proper looking tree house, even though I technically don't think it is. Um, and there's like a proper restaurant in there. So yeah, if, uh, if you're interested, that's where you can go for some lunch or some dinner or breakfast, maybe. Okay, I have made it to the castle. I wish I was wearing some kind of Hogwarts cosplay, but um, I'm not. It's too hot to even mess around with it. <laughs> <laughs> stuff couldn't do it um but we have just reached the castle it's covered in scaffolding which is really really annoying but i'm going to turn it around for you to see the walk up now and i'm sure you'll already recognize it for general exterior shots used in the first and second film before they kind of changed the style of it this is really all um philosopher's stone chamber of secrets style stuff they didn't really use it after that um but yeah i'm sure you'll be able to just generally recognize any kind of exterior shots So this is the first point that you reach. Um, I don't think this area was used for anything specifically, but you can see they do like archery and medieval reenactments and stuff. So there's lots of stuff here. It's not just Harry Potter things, you know? Um, so, you know, if you did want to come, but maybe you had someone who wasn't particularly interested in that stuff, I think they'd still find lots of fun things to do. So I read up a little bit and I was actually wrong about this area. This was used in filming. So in the Chamber of Secrets, when Secrets, <laughs> in the Chamber of Secrets, when Harry and Ron crash the flying car, um, this is this is this area. Obviously, there's an element of CG because there's no Forbidden Forest and there's no Whomping Willow. But <laughs> yeah, this is where a lot of those shots were filmed. So let me know if you recognize it because I'm not sure I do.
Okay, I have just gone through an archway into the other half. You can see Quidditch training going on over there. But this is probably what you really recognize it for and where most of the filming took place because this is where they learned to play Quidditch. In fact, right there, where everyone's learning Quidditch just now, <laughs> is where they filmed the Quidditch scene. So obviously, again, an element of CGI with the pole that Neville got caught on and all the rest of it, but you probably recognize it. And there's all these sort of figures up on the roof there. <laughs> I need to get better at that pointing. And um, they're all featured in it as well. And obviously this was kind of like the backdrop. So this was Hogwarts proper. And it's kind of crazy to see it in real life because it, it literally is Hogwarts. So it's a little spooky. You do kind of feel like you're there with a lot of casually dressed tourists. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you recognize it, if you can spot certain areas. It's a really beautiful place. Let's go see some Quidditch. Okay, so I'm now moving away from the main castle, which I am hoping to go into in a little bit, uh, moving through to the courtyard, but yeah, there's not like a whole lot here, hence why I haven't really covered this for very long, which I feel bad about, but yeah, this is, this is it, and obviously you can do the broomstick training if you want, but I will not be doing so today, I don't think there's an age limit on it, um, but yeah, so now we're moving around into the courtyard which is just a cafe, I believe, but we will go and have a look. I wonder if they can come stay here. Oh my god, they've got J-Rose. I'm so excited. Okay, and from there I'm moving into the Artisan Courtyard, which is my favourite place because not only am I a big Harry Potter fan, but I'm also a big fan of medieval stuff and Tudor stuff and things, so this kind of ticks all my boxes, but you can see they've really gone for the whole medieval thing. They haven't lent too much on the Harry Potter stuff, I think because there's lots of other things they film here as well, like Downton Abbey, but I couldn't tell you anything about that. This is Dragon Quest. That's what I was queuing for. I don't actually know much about it, but I think it's like an escape room kind of style experience. Um, but yeah, this is the courtyard. And if you're a medieval fan, this is obviously right up your alley. So I've just had a look in the gift shop since it was right next door to where I was and there was actually a lot of really good Harry Potter stuff in there. A lot of the classic stuff you kind of see everywhere like wands and bow truckles and things like that but a lot of stuff I'd never seen sold anywhere which for me is like 
a bit of a challenge because I go in every Harry Potter shop anywhere and I look at all the websites and stuff so yeah it was um if I'd had any money I would have bought loads of things but it's getting towards the end of the month so I'm broke <laughs> um but yeah loads of stuff like there was um really cool like tiny little bags that looked like Hogwarts trunks and things and um what was the other thing oh loads of candles like they had a Weasley's Wizard Weezer's candle that smelled of mint that was really nice and then they had Gryffindor candles and Ravenclaw candles no Slytherin candles and they didn't have a single Hufflepuff thing <laughs> in the whole shop so it's a bit mm, but if you're here I definitely recommend having a look because there's a lot of stuff there I've never seen anywhere else Okay, so I have just been in the state rooms, uh, which unfortunately there was no photography of any kind in there, which was really, really annoying. Um, but they were lovely. Um, nothing sort of Harry Potter related. It's just letting you inside the castle. Um, it's more like, you know, your stately home type of thing rather than gothic school castle or anything like that. But it's definitely worth going in. It's included in the ticket price and everything. So you may as well. Sorry if I'm squinting so much. It's an incredibly sunny day today. <laughs> um, but that is me done at Annick Castle. If I'm honest, it's definitely a short trip destination unless you're going to bring like a picnic and take part in the broomstick train and Dragon's Quest and all that but if you're just looking for somewhere to look around it's definitely more of a shorter experience um, but it's really great cannot recommend it enough it's probably the only filming location I've been to bar like the studio tours where they make it look exactly like it was where you go in and you can just picture exactly how the scene looked you don't need to pretend that there's you know you don't need to think about CGI that was there they didn't add in like extra buildings and turrets and stuff like that is Hogwarts so it's pretty amazing. I stood there for ages just looking at it. It's probably the only place I've been to where you really feel like you're just in Hogwarts. I don't know. I'm hoping to go to Oxford one day, so maybe um, maybe I'll feel that way there as well. But yeah, it's a pretty amazing, unique experience. Um, I don't know how well it's going to reflect in the video because like that's that's it really in terms of the filming locations it's just a big one <laughs> um so i think it's this that bit's going to be a bit shorter than maybe people were hoping but hopefully you got a good sense of it um but yeah really really fun now i'm going to brave the heat and head over to the gardens okay i am in i'm actually technically the first one in which is pretty cool because now i get this completely uninterrupted view of the most amazing fountain it is a pretty awesome entrance, I have to say. I have so many memories of playing on these tractors around here when I was little. You do have to be careful at this fountain though because um, there's different layers. You can walk through each layer. I'll show you when I go up there. Um, but they do sometimes spurt water at you, so I don't recommend going near this if you really, really, really don't want to get wet. <laughs> Um, but to orient yourself, this is obviously like the centerpiece and then in there is like a little bit of a maze with different water features and then that's where I came from, Kathy, Kathy and then just a place to sit, looks like they've got some kind of fun fair up there. That's the Poison Death Garden, whatever it's called, we'll definitely go there at some point and then you can explore the rest of the gardens up there, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So this is what I'm talking about when I say you can walk between different parts of the fountain but as you can see by the floor there is a chance you may get wet um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a run for it aka a quick walk and we'll see what happens but you can see those things it's about massive spurts of water over here so <laughs> okay I think I'm safe I think I'm safe <laughs> but it is pretty cool but yeah, you may, you may get wet. <laughs> they have so many amazing cool archways. This is actually a really good place to come just for Instagram pictures, if that's something that you're interested in. I don't really ever go anywhere just for the pictures, but you might want to, which is totally fine. But you could get really dressed up and you could get some cracking photos here. I mean, even this, I'm not even trying, and it looks so freaking cool. And there's loads of like really nice benches and stuff you can sit on and just bring a picnic. Honestly, 
you'd have the nicest day. And I don't know if you could hear, but there's like water features going. It's lovely. It's like the most relaxing place. Oh, 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 the fountain's going. Can you see that? I was literally just walking there. Oh my God. I literally just missed it. I don't know if you saw that. Oh my God. I got so lucky that I missed it. Although it would have made a pretty good video. Um, yeah. Oh, I so hope you saw that. ever played the very old Harry Potter like PS2 games or PC games. If you're on this channel you probably did but these gates really remind me of any time Hagrid sent you off to do a little quest. You always went through gates like these so I'm having like major flashbacks. Okay so I've just reached the very very top of the fountain. You can obviously there's that little one but down on. <laughs> there is where I came from. Um, so I'm just having a look at the map. So we came in from here, obviously crossed there, and that's the little archway bit I was talking to you in. And then I walked all the way up here, saw the fountain. So now I'm in the ornamental garden. So I'm gonna have a look around there and then probably work my way back through here. Um, and then there's loads to explore here. That's the tree house I showed you at the beginning. So I definitely wanna do the poison garden and I want to do the maze as well before heading home. This garden is such a peaceful, relaxing place, honestly, if, if I wasn't talking. <laughs> Just lovely twinkling sounds of water. It's very quiet. Some lovely like big roses and big trees and stuff. It's honestly, it's idyllic and I don't use that word lightly it is idyllic <laughs> it's so nice to be the first one walking around here today but yeah it's a it's a lovely place you could honestly just spend the whole day up in this bit just relaxing it's probably the best place for like if you don't have any children with you like me it's just such a nice place and then you of course randomly have these little cut throughs in the tree okay I'm walking backwards now <laughs> and then you just come across these like fountains and stuff I'm obsessed. I'm actually just going to take a little break and go through my pictures and put them on Instagram and stuff, but this ain't a bad view to be doing that. So I'm making my way back down and I found this really cool seat, right? It's one of these weird ones and it says, take a seat and hold your friend's hand for the magic to awaken. I just think it's really rude when you're here on your own <laughs> to have a thing like this. I mean, I'll sit down, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a grate in there as well. I don't know what they're hiding in there, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just working my way. I went the wrong way. Like I went the other way I intended back down, uh, but that's fine. I'll just do the loop in the other direction. But I think, I'm now heading into the maze, which is very fun. So I'll let you know what I see in there. Okay, here we go. I'm going in to the bamboo maze. I'm actually a little scared of mazes, so we'll see. Only dead fish swim with the stream. Okay, I could go the way with sunlight or the pitch black way. So let's go <laughs> take you guys with me. So I'm not totally scared. Oh my gosh. It is a lot darker in person than it looks on this. I think this is really picking up the sunlight coming in, um, but it is not in real life. Uh, from memory, it's not actually that difficult a maze. I probably wouldn't have gone in if uh, uh, um, it was like a proper difficult maze. If I was on my own, I'd go with other people. Okay. I think it's also one of those trick mazes where it feels like you're making lots of decisions, but it was pretty much going the exact same route. <laughs> I wonder if they have to do a sweep of this at night. That's so pretty. Um, just to make sure there's no one still in here. <laughs> It'd be a good place to hide if you wanted to stay at night, I suppose. Not that I'm endorsing that. Okay, let's see. I don't even remember like where it takes you or anything. 
Oh my god, I've been turning in a circle for so long, I feel dizzy. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, where do you guys think we're gonna end up? And would we have a sunnier path if I'd gone the other way, is the question. Oh gosh, a fork in the road. Okay, my instincts tell me this way, because it's brighter. <laughs> oh, 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 I found it, I found it. I found the other side. No, I didn't. I found the middle. <laughs> oh well, I found the middle at least. I don't know if you're supposed to, oh, 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 wait, is this the exit already? Or is this another trick? No, it is. Oh, well, there you go. Didn't take me that long. Okay, so I've just entered, well, I'm entering the poison garden. Every plant in here could kill you, basically. So you're not allowed to touch anything. You're not allowed to sniff anything. He said there's one plant in here. If you sniff it, you'll get a really bad nosebleed. And obviously not allowed to eat anything. So yeah, it's all about macabre and poisonous plants. So there's a bunch of like tombstones on the wall and they tell you about a murder that happened like as a result of a plant. So this is the umbrella murder. So he was assassinated on a London street by a micro-engineered pellet containing Rickon fired into his leg from an umbrella wielded by someone associated with the KGB, perhaps. It's kind of badass. What a way to go. So you use QR codes to have a look at what everything is. I'm not going to take the time to look at absolutely everything and it gives you their, um, um, I was going to say Italian, Latin name. I guess technically Italian. But it is kind of crazy that every single thing in here will do you some harm. Like, okay, might not kill you, but they're going to do something. Like, he did say, like, literally don't put your nose anywhere near this stuff because, like, one of them will just make your nose excessively bleed. And I'm wearing a white t-shirt, so I'd rather not do that. So I scanned this one as an example. I should have known, but it's tobacco. Um, and obviously that is very deadly, so that just gives you an example of what kind of plants would be around here. I'm gonna go try the tree. I'm interested in that one. So this tree, the fruit that grows on it can contain cyanide. So yeah, if you ate one, you could die. Fun. That was really cool in there. It's worth it to come here just to go and see that. It does involve, my only criticism is it does involve a lot of using your phone because you have to scan a QR code to find out about anything. Um, and I always think it's better to kind of be more in the moment. Um, but no, it was really cool. There was a lot of drug plants in there as well, which I didn't film just because YouTube can be a bit you know, funny about that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that was really interesting. And they've got like a fundraiser for drug awareness and stuff. So, you know, it is doing good things. So now I'm walking through, I think it's supposed to be the cherry orchard, but it's obviously out of season. So it's just trees. <laughs> This is so cool. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's like a hundred swinging seats all around here in this orchard. It's so beautiful. Not a bad way to be spending your morning. <laughs> this is so nice. I can't get over it. Okay, and that is me officially done with both Annick Castle and Annick Gardens. I had such a great day today. It actually only took me the morning because I've been here so many times. I was really just here to film, so I didn't really like go into detail myself, went into nooks and crannies when I knew there was nothing there. So I'm gonna be back by like lunch, which is crazy considering I went into another country and I'm back again by lunchtime. <laughs> Don't know, it just blows my mind a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've had a lovely time. I hope you have as well. Okay, I'm back in the car. I don't know how well you can hear me because I've got the window open and I've got the cold air blasting because it's 30 degrees as it turns out. I'm just looking at my car. I was told it was going to be 22, but no, it's 30, which for here is insane. So I'm really glad I've left <laughs> when I did. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off here. I really hope you had a great time watching this video as much as I did filming it. Let me know if there's other certain locations you want to see. I've already been to lots of other locations, so I will link some of them down below. But until then, I will see you next time. Bye!